So I'm going to just start over. Um, the reading and homily today is from Osho, the Zen of Path, a Paradox and Wisdom of the Sands, the chapter on giving. Now is the time to open up, to stop being a miser, to give the best you can and the best that you have, to give out of the abundance of your love of your heart. Remember Mary Magdalene? She seems to me the only true follower of Jesus. Her authenticity was immense. One day she came and poured a very, very valuable perfume on Jesus' feet. Judas was there and he didn't miss the opportunity. He said, look, you should have prevented her. This is wastage. That oil was so valuable. It could have been sold. People are starving and this perfume is so costly. Why waste it? That looks logical. But what does Jesus say? What Jesus says is very illogical. He says, the poor will always be there. When I am gone, you can take care of them. You don't understand the heart of the woman. Let her pour the perfume. Costly, not costly. That is irrelevant. I can see a great feeling rising in her heart. This is prayer. I cannot disturb her prayer. Jesus understood that Mary Magdalene had a beauty of the heart. It is not the perfume that Jesus is looking at. He is looking at the heart of the woman. Good morning. During this time, we are beginning this time of giving. So it's time to see how we can add to someone's life and show how much we love them. But we need to give out from our own abundance. In the, no in the Osho tarot cards, the Queen of Fire is this abundance card. She has all she needs so she can give out freely. The Queen of Fire says, you too are in a situation where you have an opportunity to share your love, your joy, and your laughter. And in sharing, you find that you feel even more full. There is no need to go anywhere or to make any special effort. You can find that you enjoy sensuality without possessiveness or attachment. You can give birth to a child or to a new project with an equal sense of creativity fulfilled. Everything around seems to be coming together now. Enjoy, ground yourself in it, and let the abundance in you around you overflow. In this season, we are looking how we can give to others. We are looking to see, what does that really mean, giving? And I went to Kahil Kabran in his book, The Prophet, and again on his chapter on giving. And he said, you give but little when you give up your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but things you keep and guard for fear you may need them tomorrow? There are those who give little of the much which they have and they give it for recognition or their hidden desire makes their gifts unwholesome. And there are those who have little, little, but give it all. These are the believers in life and the bounty of life and their coffer is never empty. It is well to give when asked, but it's better to give unasked through understanding. And to the open-handed, the search for one who shall receive is joy greater than giving. You may say, I would give, but only to the deserving. The trees in your orchard say not so, nor the flocks in your pasture. They give that they may live, for to withhold is to perish. Surely he who is worthy to receive his days and his nights is worthy of all else from you. And he who deserves to drink from the ocean of life deserves to fill his cup from your little stream. See first that you yourself 
deserve to be a, a giver and an instrument of giving. For in truth, it is life that gives unto life while you who deem yourself a giver are but a witness. We want to really look that we give from our love, from our abundance, from our overwhelming. So it's given freely without causing the receiver to feel in any way a debt from us. This is true giving, that the receiver feels blessed and you feel whole and full also. But it's so important that we do give this from ourselves that we are full. There is a quote from Michael de Montaigne: Lend yourself to others, but give yourself to yourself. So we want also to give away all that is keeping us from feeling abundant, joyful, and loving. This is the time to shed all of that away. We want to be abundant and full and rich ourselves. Our giving needs to come from the heart. Costly, not costly, it is irrelevant. It is the prayer from your heart that matters a prayer that gives freely and lovingly. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. In preparation for the gratitude portion of the service, let's take a moment to feel the gratitude within for our church and sacred space and for all our own blessings. We give our heartfelt gratitude for the gifts and blessings we have been given, as well as those we have yet to receive. And now it's 